Hey buddy, Thomas here. And today's video is kind of something that's more of a novelty, but I wanted to show that it can be done and, and how to do it. And I did a video on this a while back, but it really wasn't done that well. Um, but what I'm going to show you is how you can cut two logs at one time. Does this save time? No, not really, because there are some complexities that are associated with trying to cut two logs at one time. It's also quasi-dangerous <laughs> uh, in the sense that you will, like this first cut won't be that bad and everything, but it, you have to pin the logs in such a way that they won't roll up. Uh, because as you clamp down on these logs right here, depending on where you put your clamper right here, it may want to make the, the logs roll onto each other or away from each other or towards each other, depending on how you do it. You have to put your log stops about 60% up the log. You cannot be below 50%. If you're below that, as you pin it, as you push over, one log will kind of roll up. So this log will roll out, and then this log here will roll down. So both your log stops and your log dogs have to be greater than 50% above. So I'd say about 60%, and that'll hold things in line. Now, in order to get 60% up of this, up this log, you have to have small logs. You cannot do this with two bigger logs. Plus, with two larger logs, you're going to be getting outside of your cut for it anyway. Uh, or, you know, how wide you can cut. Not your cut throat, cut throat this way. But anyways, um, I'm going to show you kind of like my little technique. I'm only making 6x6s six six out of these right here. I should be able to get a 6x6 six six out of these. Um, these are just two pine logs that I have that are almost identical. The lengths are pretty close. The other thing you want to make sure, it doesn't matter so much on the starting side, but on the ending side, you want the ends to stop about the same distance. So as you're cutting through, whenever you finish, the blade gets through, it gets through both at the same time, so you can bring it back up, bring it back, and cut again. If they're differing sizes, you might screw that up. You might still be in one of the logs when you're trying to bring it up. I guess that came out okay. Um, so again, nearly identical logs, and we're not going to get much out of these, but uh, a 6x6 six six is all I plan to get. Once I do my first cut, so we're going to go ahead and cut off this top side, then I'm going to put these two flat sides together, and that's because it gives me something to cut off of. I have, uh, you know, some purchase and stuff like that. So my first cut will be off the top. Glitches. And now we're going to put the two flat sides together. As you can see, it's, it's difficult to handle the two on here at the same time. Both 
both want to kind of roll backwards on me. Snuck up on me, I didn't even hear him coming. <laughs> All right, so now we've got the flat sides on the bottom, we've got the flat sides together again. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut down to where I have like six inches. And then, then I'll turn the logs inward of each other, and then we'll cut on the top side. And we should be done, so we'll see.
like I said, we have made eight flitches go off, and we've made two six by sixes. And since I'm cutting them together, you know, they're going to come out the same every time. So that's not too bad. Let me look what time. I know I was talking a lot. So I'm at 13 minutes. And 13 minutes, plus if you talk about it all the time I'm talking, I could have probably cut that maybe eight minutes or something like that. So is it worth it? I don't know. You be the judge. From start to finish, we show how to cut two six by sixes out of two logs on the mill at the same time with four cuts. So take it with a grain of salt. It's kind of a novelty type thing to do. It's fun to do. I've done it five or six times maybe. Um, but the pattern is you cut the top side and you fold them in to each other where the flat sides are touching. And you cut that and put the flat sides down. And again, you want the flat sides touching. Make your third cut and then your fourth cut, you just you know take off the top. So it's not hard to do. It's kind of fun. All right, please like, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this little quick video. Thanks.